Welcome to Wakai Update. My name is Joseph Iyaji. I'm here with a conflicting topic. Why do you think that God, a loving and caring father, allows Satan to come down to earth where his loving children are to come and terrorize humanity? The concept of God and Satan coexisting may seem paradoxical, but a closer examination of scripture reveals a deliberate design. God, in his infinite wisdom, chose to send Satan to earth, not to terrorize humanity, but to empower us to triumph over evil. In Luke chapter 10, verse 19, Jesus declares, Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. This statement underscores God's intention for humanity to conquer Satan, not over in fear, the purpose of temptation. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, states, No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation will also come the way of escape, that you may be able to bear it. God permits temptation not to torment, but to strengthen our resolve and faith. Satan's earthly mission. In Job chapter 1, verse 6 to 7, Satan presents himself before God, who asks, From where do you come? Satan responds, From roaming the earth and walking back and forth on it. God deliberately allows Satan to operate on earth, providing an opportunity for humanity to exercise dominion and overcome evil. God's decision to cohabit with Satan on earth is not a sign of fear or weakness, but a demonstration of his trust in humanity's potential. By sending Satan to earth, God empowers us to confront and defeat evil, ultimately emerging victorious. As 1 John chapter 4 verse 4 declares, You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Embrace this divine mandate, and together let us triumph over certain schemes. My dear listeners, one thing I want you to learn in this video is that God allows Satan to test and refine humanity's faith, making it stronger and more resilient in Job chapter 1 verse 6 to 7 and 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 6 to 7. Secondly, humanity's free will. God's, God respects humanity's free will, allowing individuals to choose between good and evil. Satan's presence provides a choice and God desires humanity to willingly love and follow him in Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19 and Joshua chapter 24 verse 15. The third point I want you to take out of this video is growth through overcoming. God permits Satan's presence to provide opportunities for humanity to overcome evil. Growing in spiritual maturity and character in Romans chapter 5, verse 3 to 5, and James chapter 1, verse 2 to 4. The fourth point I want you to take home is 
ultimate victory and glory. God's plan includes Satan's eventual defeat and humanity's ultimate victory, bringing glory to God and demonstrating his love and redemption. In Revelation chapter 20 verse 10 and 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57. These points highlight God's sovereignty, love, and desire for humanity's growth and ultimate triumph over evil. I hope you learn something from this video. Thank you for joining me in this segment. My name is Joseph Iyaji.